This is something no one wants to see. A new survey shows that many of Austin's live music venues could close by Halloween. KB's Darren Eustin Harris spoke with one of those venue owners who said he fears for what lies ahead. The main reason people come here is because it's the live music capital of the world. Live music is the air pumping through the lungs of Austin. You could go anywhere downtown a year ago and you would have 200 musicians playing. But now it's in jeopardy. Staple venues like Barracuda have already permanently closed and live music venues like Cedar Street Courtyard downtown are sitting in silence, temporarily closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I know of venues that have been around for 20 plus years that, you know, in the very near future may not exist anymore. William Branham and his partner Kevin Ship says theirs could be next. I would say right now it's 50 50. A new survey of Austin businesses done by the University of Houston finds that 90% of the city's live music venues could close down by Halloween, with 67% of them not even able to pay full rent. Or if we go a few more months, that may, we may not be able to even pay the reduced rent. Having large music festivals like Austin City Limits and South by Southwest canceled was catastrophic for live music venues. We usually can make enough money to pay the majority of our uh, bills for the entire year during South by Southwest. With no clear understanding of when live music venues would get relief, you have to wonder what would Austin be like without live music? If the music goes away, I mean, What's going to happen to the convention traffic? What's going to happen to all these hotels that have just been built? What else is there for people to do in Austin? In Austin, Darren e. Shaharan, KVU News. A really tough situation there. William says if live music venues were able to open at at least 25% capacity, he thinks that they would have a fighting chance to make it through this pandemic. We'll see what happens, of course.